Rusty Animator Facebook group had a challenge this past week. Since the Spider-Man game had just come out, we were tasked with using uh, a provided attack animation, or we could find our own and recreate it. The idea behind it is that it really forces you to study the mechanics of the shot. You get to see why an animator chose to uh, pose it or animate it the way that they did it. And the fun part for us then was that we weren't restricted by game engines and such, so we were free to punch it up or kind of make it our own. If we go ahead and pop into Maya, I've pulled up my uh, first file. I, I usually do a setup kind of file. And here I've uh, chosen the clip that I want to use, and uh, I've taken that and broken it down into an image sequence and placed it as a texture on this plane here. So now you can see as I scrub through the timeline, I can uh, see my reference in real time. This is the shot that I wanted to uh, animate, or, or really we were going to just kind of do a, a blocking pass or get as far as we could. Then I went ahead and I referenced the rigs that I wanted to use. Uh, I colored them just to differentiate them in my head, and now I'm ready to start posing. Well, the first thing that I did was set up those key poses, or uh, you know, the, the poses that are telling the story. I'm not worried about how I'm getting from one pose to another at this point. Uh, I'm just worried about the main poses. And I, if I remember correctly, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I do, I did the left character first, uh, the Spider-Man character, and then I did the, um, the villain on the right side. And next, I am worried about how I'm getting from one pose to another. So I'm putting in the basic or the main breakdown poses here. And as I move forward at this point, I've got enough information from the reference that I can go ahead and turn it off and figure out where I want to go from here on my own. If there's anything that I have a question about later or I just can't figure something out, I may then pull that reference back up um, to consult that. So I continue to flesh out the shot. I uh, continue to maybe adjust the timing until I'm happy with it. And as far as blocking goes, this is what I ended up with. For an exercise, um, this is about as far as I plan on taking this. Uh, it really was a lot of fun and I feel like I learned a few things along the way. Now, shifting gears, I'm leaving town for a few days at the end of the week. So first off, the next video may be shorter than usual and also it may be posted a day or so later than usual uh, since I won't be coming back till uh, probably after next weekend. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.